After completing a massive study of their own, the US Department of Transportation will enable technology allowing vehicles to avoid crashes by talking to each other through the exchange of basic safety data like speed and position. The safety applications would provide warnings to drivers so that they can prevent imminent collisions, but would not automatically operate any vehicle systems like braking or steering. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology contains several layers of security and privacy protection and does not involve exchanging or recording personal information or tracking vehicle movements. The largest ever road test of V2V technology was in 2012, when nearly 3,000 vehicles were deployed demonstrating that this works in real-world environments on a large scale. And consumers have said that they've been really pleased with the technology during the initial testing phases as well. This has game-changing potential to significantly reduce the number of crashes, injuries, and deaths on our nation's roads, said the NHTSA's acting administrator, David Friedman. And here's an industry analyst describing the changing automotive landscape toward automation. For example, I believe that in probably three years from now, four years from now, you will have cars that are self-aware as a first step before they are truly autonomous or self-driving, right? So and that means they can actually interpret what you do as a driver and what state you're in and look at the surroundings of what happens and put that all in together, analyze it and surf you up information, do things automatically for you that will make it easier for you to go through your life. So I think the progression of innovation in the automotive space in particular will happen way faster than many of us realized.